What's up guys, it's 2B1 and you're watching Idolater. Yeah. All right. <laughs> two be one, two, two. All right. So we all met at the dance school when we were about six or seven years old, and that's when we started dancing, taking classes together. But through the years when we were dancing, we said, "Why don't we audition for the show America's Best Dance Crew?" So when we auditioned, and when we got on the show. Layla was one of the co-hosts. Now she's one of our, our co-managers. But when we met her there, she she kept in contact with us from the show to when we got off the show. So when we got off the show, we got in contact with her. And from there, she said, I want to help you guys. I want to help you guys pursue your dream and yeah. get you guys moving. So from there, any, yes, you yeah, so from there, basically, we just expressed to her that, you know, we wanted to make our own music because we've been dancing to so like for so long to other artists' music. And we wanted to, you know, we kind of asked ourselves, why not dance to our own music? So we expressed that to her, and then you know she put us in vocal training, and we did vocal training for a while, and then she brought us to her friend Troy Carter, who's now co-managing with her. Yeah, so. I mean, like being dancers, you always have a love for music, because anything that has to do with music when you're a dancer, you automatically love. Like we love all different genres of music when it comes to alternative, rock, pop, R&B, hip hop. When it comes to anything, so. That's pretty much it. When, when you're a dancer, you pretty much love music. So growing up as dancers, making our own music was definitely a dream of ours. Let's get it. it was, it was, uh, it was definitely different. It was definitely different because we really aren't used to singing. Of course, we love music and we like sing along to like songs that we love. But it's not something we really did before. So we worked really hard. You know, weekly, we were always in vocal lessons. Just make sure to make sure that we really, you know, are into our craft and really getting better because that's what we wanted to do. We wanted to become the best that we could and what we were going to do, and we know it takes a lot of hard work to... Yeah, because there's a very small handful of people out there that are just natural-born singers, and we probably don't consider ourselves as natural-born singers, which is why we had to go into vocal training and really work on our craft, like Maggie said, because that's what you have to do is, as entertainers. It's just the whole package. And, so, yeah. And, like, one thing that did come hand-in-hand hand with singing and dancing is that when we first, when we first go, started going into vocal lessons and stuff like that, we did have some form of musicality to the music because we had been dancing for like half our lives so we kind of had a sense of that so it was wasn't the hardest transition but it was it was definitely a transition going to vocal lessons and stuff like yeah. that yeah but wherever you want to go i mean that was just so amazing i mean yeah. it was our first track that we ever recorded in the studio and um, we were not alone, we were together. So I think that, that was the best part is that we got to share that kind of journey with yeah. these guys. I mean, these are we consider ourselves brothers. So being able to be in the studio for the first time and recording and doing the whole thing, like and rehearsing for the video, which was like two weeks in advance, we were rehearsing with our choreographer, Richie Jackson, and who is, away, and by the way, is amazing. Richie, Richie Jackson yes. is Richie awesome. Jackson. awesome. Yes. So he's amazing, and yeah, just like the whole the whole package, and like when you look back on the video and you see how much was actually put into it, and the song and everything, it really is like surreal because you it, not a lot of people see what actually goes in to the video and the song and what actually all the hard work that goes into it. What we feel that sets us apart from a lot of the groups out there is that um, we weren't just thrown together. There are a lot of boy bands and groups out there that were just thrown together through like an audition or through something other than like not being like what we've gone through. Like we met when we were like six or seven years old. Half I can, of our lives. You know? I don't yeah. think any group out yeah. there has met when they were six <laughs> or seven years old. So we really do consider ourselves brothers and we have great chemistry together. Yeah, and I do think, you know, being younger, it also sets us apart because, you know, we've started at such a young age, you know, we practice dancing for like eight years now, which is half our lives, and we've known each other for that long. Also that we're dancers. Yeah, yeah and mm -hmm. so we've had this chemistry for so long, and I do think, I do think it sets us apart because there are a lot of older, like a little bit older, not like crazy older, but there are older boy bands out there, but we're probably one of the And youngest. it's like, it's, it's great because all these things that we're doing are such new experiences for us, but it's it's with something that we've been familiar with for almost half of our lives, especially familiar with together because we've been doing it together for so long. So that's also one great yeah, part just of music that. in general. It's something that we've grown up with, and I think a lot of people have grown up with because music is just music. Yeah. It's like yeah. the, like the top of the world. Like everybody listens to music. Yeah. So I mean, it's it's definitely great that we're being able to do what we loved ever since we're little. Right now, we uh, we just our new single is gonna drop soon. We just recorded our music video, "Do You," which is the name so of the new sick. single. It's, it's so it's, sick. It's actually a big difference than the totally first single different. because this one's a little more like urban pop, whereas the first one was like really like pop pop. 
So this one's like a different switch. We like to like be unpredictable with our music. So all our music's very different. But right now we're in the middle of recording our EP, which will also be coming out soon. But this new music video yes. is gonna be tight. It's, so, it's really, it's really good. It's, I mean, we just we just recorded it like a couple of weeks ago. And um, we put a lot of work into it. It was yeah. like really, really crazy. And after you do like a take for the video, they have this monitor screen that plays back the take that you did previously. Right. And when we're looking at it, I mean, it's just like, it's it hits so, you. It's so exciting for us. It's, you just want it to be out already. And of course, I mean, if we had the choice, we would put it out tomorrow. Yeah. But yeah. of course, like, we're, a lot like of editing, editing and, and, and all that stuff. And like the while. professional behind the scenes work has to get done first. You put your worries aside. I mean, a mentor to a mentor to all of us, I think, is Justin Timberlake. Of course, he Big just came out with his, his new albums, uh, his new album. But um, I think he is just such an amazing entertainer, and that's what we aspire to be. We want to be entertainers as well. So I think in the game right now, for sure, is Justin Timberlake. We feel like he has the whole package when it comes to an artist. Like he's an entertainer, which we are entertainers. That's what we like to describe ourselves as. Yeah. He has the look. He has the sound. He has like the whole package. He's an artist. And he really performs and he really entertains his crowd and that's someone that we want to be like when we grow up as a group yeah. is just to entertain people and have that whole package yeah and he, he's also an actor like he he yes. does everything he's got it all everything. he's got it all he's got, he's got he got really it all. is amazing do you do you do you yeah, I think we all can agree that Ariana is a great, you know, vocalist. She's an amazing singer. She's really got I mean, amazing. I think er, there's a lot of, like, talk about her saying that she's like the young Mariah Carey. That's she's a such, huge... She is. That's, a, that's a crazy name to be putting next to a new artist. But, like Ariana, right. but yeah. I, mean, like, I think it definitely fits. She has a beautiful voice. She's definitely like a natural born singer, right? She is really, really Yeah, amazing. and who would know? Like yes. she had like she was on Nickelodeon like as an actress and then all Nobody of a sudden knew she, she came, came out of like, nowhere, like singing way. like Mariah. Like who does like, that? Yeah, like her pipes so are like yeah. nobody yeah. knew that she had that in her. She just came out with a bang. So I, I mean, I definitely think it would be thing. cool to do a collaboration with her because she is super talented. But there's also great like Demi Lovato's out there right now, and I know she's an amazing yes. vocalist as well. Selena's also great. There's so many, but I think Ariana is really an amazing vocalist. Yeah. Yeah, we know Demi would be amazing too because like the Ryan Pilata, the director of our music video that we just had do you also directed Made in the USA so we hear a lot about her being like so amazing and like even Selena is just so amazing they're all amazing yeah guys. he also did Ariana Grande's Baby Eye music video yeah yeah so he was by the way he was amazing to work with he yeah. was whew, he was really really he great he really knows yeah, he's the guy's a he's genius awesome. yeah so he's he really, really is. great Crazy. but um also I feel like Selena also has a different sound as well I think like she has a more she always changes it up for her songs I think too like they're not they're unpredictable yeah